who's up next, buddy? Okay, we got Bob in Lexington, South Carolina with a 99 Seville. He's got a computer's flashing service airbag problem. Hi, Bob. Thanks for holding. What's up? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. It hmm. just started last week, and uh, the uh, computer, you know, in the under the speedometer there? Yep. It, it, uh, when you start it up, it pushes uh, service airbags. You can hit the reset, and it'll go away until the next time you crank it up. And does it happen when the car sits overnight or just any time you first start it up? Anytime. Okay. Well, it sounds like you got an airbag problem in the rear leveling system. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a complicated little uh, system they have on that Seville. Uh, you've got uh, a sensor that actually measures the distance that the, the vehicle lowers or raises. It also works on load. So in case people get in the back seat and you put stuff in the trunk, it will readjust the level of the rear. Uh, the other issues that have happened on them, that the lines that fill the bags with air crack or the bags themselves go bad. So there's several issues. Um, does the rear end ever sag on this car? Does it lay lower than normal? Uh, not that I have noticed, and I didn't know that it is raised and lowered. Oh, it does. Yeah, okay. it, ma it maintains its height. Did you I never did, noticed that. Do you ever hear the compressor come on sometimes? You'll just, you'll just hear it go in the back? No. Hmm. Well, you need to have somebody check that out. How long have you had it? Oh, it's got 87,000 miles on it. So you bought it new? Uh, no, no, I bought it secondhand about five years ago, four years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, what you need to do is take it to a GM shop or, you know, in, it could be either the dealer or an independent shop that has a Tech 2 mm -hmm. um, scanner right. because you're going to have to you're gonna have to be able to communicate with the module to actually diagnose it. Um you can get the body control um, codes off the dash of the vehicle, so you know I'd call around. This is something you don't do at home. Okay. Yeah. By the way, there's there's acceleration sensors, ride height sensors, a road surface sensor, and a steering angle. I mean, a suspension control pressure sensor switch. So there's a lot of pieces to this. I will tell you this: it's a '99, so it's so we know it's going on 10 years old, mm -hmm. and it's a great car. Uh, you only got 87,000, but if you have problem with the air suspension. Uh, before you jump into spending big money on it, call our friends at Strutmasters. Okay. They have replacement parts, first off, if you want to fix that at That's, the right price. Yeah. Secondly, they'll convert it. You can get a conversion kit to go to standard suspension and don't worry about that because those airbags, when they start to get old, the system is a wonderful system, but when it starts to get old, then you start to have big-time problems with it. And on that car, I believe it's just the rear suspension on that. That's all. Yeah, it's so rear. But it'll still be a few thousand dollars if the system goes bad. Right. So again, so, if they quote you a couple grand. Call the boys at Strutmasters. They got the best products. They got a great price. They got a good tech hotline. In fact, you could even call them. Uh, are you, do you have access to a computer? Do you go online, Bob? Oh uh, no. Okay. If you can get someone to take you online, go to my website, Sam'sGarage.com or ShadeTreeMechanic.com. You can link right to Strutmasters. They have, they're open all the time. They've got a great technical hotline. You could call these guys and ask them the same question you ask us, and they could give you even better advice. Okay. All right? Plus, you know, I use those kits that they sell from Strutmaster at the shop, mm -hmm. and when we do convert over Lincolns and Cadillacs to the Strutmaster system, they also include a, uh, information on how to bypass the light for the airbag system so it doesn't keep coming on. Okay. So after you replace the system, you can bypass it and never have to worry about it again. All and right. And you won't be able to tell the difference at all. A dip, but dip it'll ride the, better. The, <laughs> you will, yeah, yeah, the system's repaired and it'll ride better. But if you're worried about the leveling and the function, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No way. Okie doke. Okay. Thank you. I, I think that'll fix you. Thank you. Enjoy Good luck. Program. Thank you, man. Good luck. We appreciate you.